This is the Cabaret Girls Makeup Look in Grey. First, I'm going to start off with some moisturizer, and I normally like to do this on my cheeks and just the main places on my face so I can blend it out easier. For foundation, I just take some of the sponge into the bottle and apply it with the tip, and then I normally blend it with the back end of the applicator and then I work around my face in sections so it doesn't dry normally starting with the main parts that I want to concentrate the foundation in like my cheeks like the bridge of my nose the center of my forehead and my chin and then I just blend it out to the surrounding areas I normally use concealer to brighten up the under eye to make it look more contrasty and then I also do some concealer on my eyes so that I have a bit of a brighter eye and it also makes it so that the eye makeup is a bit brighter too. Now I go in with a setting powder to keep my face set in place, which makes it so I look less greasy. <laughs> and then also it makes it so that there's no creases where your face naturally folds. I just put this all over and you might use a lot, so you're gonna have to probably add some more in later. <laughs> Using moisturizer before this really helps because if you do too much of this without moisturizer, your face might feel a little crusty. Also make sure to tap off your brush in between putting on powder because it might get everywhere if you don't do that. Now it's time to go in with some contour. Just take note while I do this contour, it might be a little washed out, so you might have to do it a bit darker on yourself because I am using a ring light. When doing this, make sure not to go down too low to your mouth and try to stay with the natural shadows of your face and just a little bit. So don't go too low, don't go too high, just try to get in the right shadow of your face so it looks kind of natural. Mm -hmm. 
When doing nose contour, just go on the shadows of your nose and you can squeeze the brush a little bit so that it gets a bit more like exact. If you make sure to follow the shadows of your face, your nose should stay the same shape. So just make sure you follow what your face actually looks like so you don't look a bit different. For blush, start in the center of your cheeks so it's more saturated there and then just blend up a little bit so it's less of a harsh circle. Now it's time to move on to eyeshadow. So for this look, I'm gonna use a darkish brown, a black, and a white. And I'm gonna use three brushes, a poofy one, a medium one, and a small one. Make sure to wipe them off but in between use. Now I'm gonna start with the medium one and I'm going to go into the like medium-ish dark brown. I'm going to do kind of a triangle outside my outer lid area and I'm going to make sure to bring it through to my crease and leave my lid free of color. Now I'm going to go into a white to blend up with the poofiest brush. This is really useful because it makes the lines less harsh and it makes it look a bit more soft. After blending out with the white, I come back in with the darkish brown and I just want to keep blending that in to keep the color. I'm using a bit of white on my finger to put on the top so it's a bit more concentrated and it has a bit of a lightness. Now I'm going in with the black in the outer corners, making sure to blend into the gray and not cover up the inner part of your eyelid. For this part, I'm using the smallest brush, but make sure to still use a poofy one. I'm now going in with a small slivered brush with some of that dark gray again and going underneath my eyelids, underneath my eyelash line, just blending it slightly in. Don't go all the way in, just a little bit in the outer corners. Going in with a grayish light shimmer you can also go in with a white shimmer if you don't have this or something very similar just put this on the lid space that you left free and a little bit farther back so you can blend it in later i like to use my fingers for this because it packs it on better now it's eyeliner time i like to do a bit of a swoop up for this look try to keep it with the same shape as the eyeshadow you did so just that's the most important part you can also reshape your eyeshadow with a bit of concealer or foundation later but yeah just go a bit swooped up try to stay with the shape of your eye and it's really useful to keep your eyes open while doing this process so that you, if you have like a fold in your eye it doesn't change the position of the eyeliner when you open your eyes after being closed also after doing one side and the other side you might have to go back to the first side it's kind of a juggling act you might need to see something that's fixed right now i think it turned out okay though now I'm going to go on to lipstick and for this I'm just using kind of a berryish red color. If you have something a bit different you can use that. Just kind of stay in the same family of reddish to purplish 
something around there. For this makeup look, I'm also going to be doing a bit of a point later on in the top of the lip area. If you feel like that won't match your lip shape, that's totally fine. You don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can. If you want, you can add mascara, but we don't provide it, so you don't have to if you don't want to. Now I'm going to do some setting spray, and that's it for the look. Hope this helped. Have a nice show.